Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Friday the 19th of July. Happy birthday, Dad! It's a bit manic. What time is it? It's 22 minutes past seven in the morning on a Friday morning. And let me tell you, this is not how mornings usually are, is it, Lee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, mm -mm. Basically, Heidi's up. You've just been fed, haven't you? She's seven months old now. Nearly eight. <laughs> yep, crazy. Lewis is having his wee yeah, bits. I've just, I've just made coffee. Look at that, vanilla ice latte. I've also got some porridge in here. Sorry, I just stopped there and prioritized the porridge because when you're not paying attention, you're just in for trouble with porridge. I'm just gonna add some salt because there's nothing better than salty porridge in the morning, is there? No, you're just gonna add salt because you don't eat anything without salt. <laughs> I can't have sweet porridge. I, I can't do it. I've tried and I can't. Anyway, basically this week I've just been feeling so fat and mean and overweight. Diet is terrible. So I was like, I'm gonna do something about it. Drag my arse to the gym this morning. I feel on top of the world. Although it is early and there's plenty of time to crash and die later on. Um, also this week, got my nails done. OMG, I had nails like up to here and they have been chopped. And they're looking stunning. Also, I don't know who I am vlogging when I've literally got videos sitting waiting to be edited. I've not vlogged for ages. I think I made a video when I got home from Dubai that still needs edited. And thank you so much for all the views on the Dubai video. If you tuned into them, thank you because the view, the number of views was ace on that and it just makes it all so worth it. This week I've got into Vinted, selling things on Vinted. I've become a little obsessed, haven't I, Lewis? You have, yeah. But I'm making money. I kind of. I emailed work this week and they said I'm not due back till January and then I was like, hmm, let's go away on Boxing Day on holiday. Although it's extortionate and we're probably not going to do it. But I was like, let's pretend as if we are. And then all the stuff I'm selling on Vinted can go towards that. But for now, guys, I thought I would just take you along for the ride this week. Or this weekend. Or today. I don't know. It's my dad's birthday. We're going out to Rustico's for lunch. And I thought I could take the camera. I've not seen my sister in two days and it feels weird. I feel like she's gone for like three months. So I'm excited to see her and Charlie again today and yeah just see what happens it's weird being up at this time because i'm like what am i going to do with heidi all day but for now i'm going to take my porridge and my coffee to bed and chill there well it's lewis well lewis normally gets up feeds heidi empties the dishwasher and has his breakfast i love fed heidi and you've done the dishwasher already so you can have all this extra time you're not used to yeah, for <laughs> <laughs> these are my arms these are my hands oh these are my fingers. Come on. Sing along with me. La 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 la. Jump along with me. La 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 la. Wiggle along <laughs> with me. La 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 la. Point along with me. Let's be productive and chat at the same time. I have just. See, I've already failed. I've just showered. I just feel like I'm not getting a lot of like days out of my hair. It's 25 to 9, so Lewis has gone to work. But yeah, I feel like I'm having to like wash my hair like two, three times a week at the moment. Like it's just not. And I feel like my hair stinks, so I'm having to wash it a lot. Not me trying to iron this pajama looking shirt again on this channel. But here I am trying to iron that. I'm gonna wear this today. It's just a little pop of colour, maybe a black skirt or, or the red trousers. I often wear it with. I've worn this outfit a million times, but I bought it in Manchester for my birthday. We were, I know we were speaking about vintage and like cheap clothes and stuff. My friends Emma and Erin have got me onto vintage and um, have got me onto Sheen. And I have got a wedding in August. And I got a dress from Sheen for £12 for the wedding. I got a fascinator and a bag as well. So the dress fascinator and bag, dress fascinator and bag, 
all came to £32. How crazy, and I got Heidi swimming costumes for Florida from there as well. Because I was in Marks and Spencers with my dad, that's like my new thing. Well, our new thing. I'm going to take you along one day when we go because we just love Marks and Spencers Cafe. But anyway, I found these beautiful swimming costumes and I found one for like £14.50 and I found one for £17.50. And I was saying to my dad, how many swimming costumes do you think I'll need for Heidi going to Florida? And he was like, I would just get two to be safe. And I was like, okay. Um... But I was like, that's extortionate. Like that's like over 30 quid or around 30 quid for two swimming costumes. Well, I got both of Heidi's for a tenner. So I'm buzzing with that from Sheen. Um, what else has been going on? Oh yeah, funny story about my mum. I know a couple of my friends have said the same when I'm like, does anyone else's like mum criticise like their parenting? Like it comes from a good place for my mum and like she just cracks me up. It's all like a bit of a joke. But my mum's always like, oh, if you even fed Heidi today, she's starving. Oh, where's her socks? Her feet are cold. Or oh, you're not going to put a hat on her. She's going to be freezing. Where's her blanket? Oh, she must be tired. Have you not napped her? And like, that's, that's so my mum. The latest is, you don't even pronounce her name right. <laughs> I apparently don't even pronounce my daughter's name right. That's the latest. That was this week's saga. <laughs> And yeah, I'll catch you when I'm up to something more exciting. This vlog seems like already it's going to be a chatty one. <laughs> right, I am ready for the day. And Heidi is just down for a nap. It's 20 to 10. This is probably going to be like a spend the day with me. Um, because I feel like this video is so long already and it's not even 10am. Um, I have packed up my vintage parcel. I'm going to drop that off an in post down at Lidl. I have learned so much in the last week about vintage parcels in post, post offices, you better believe it. And then I have got my dad's birthday card here, his granddad on it, and Hoverum. Do you know what? Because I was like, oh, this will be his first granddad card. Um, unless, did we give him like one for Father's Day? I can't remember. Um, but I actually now wish I bought a dad one and a granddad one, but I've just signed that one from the kids and we got them an Amuse voucher. It's like this fancy restaurant in Aberdeen. So that's what we got him for his birthday. I um, need to leave here in about 15 minutes. I'm going to pack up the car, put all this stuff in it and then head out to take him to the doctor's. Uh, my eyebrow pencil just run out. And the thing is with my eyebrow pencil, it's like a £10 NYX pencil. It's called Espresso. I've used it for years but you get no warning when it runs out like it literally just does not twist anymore um yeah so I have no eyebrows for tomorrow I've discovered dad is on the vlog happy birthday oh thank you very much you're live on channel 4 please do not swear <laughs> um so I've been thinking today I was just gonna say to my dad that we're going to an Italian for lunch and tiramisu is on the pudding but what if we have birthday cake? Are we having tiramisu and birthday cake? Definitely. Yeah, it's your birthday. That's tiramisu, I'm the end of Italian. Dad's been out every day this week <laughs> for lunch and dinner. And um, he said, well, it is my birthday week. Yeah, he was saying it is his birthday week. I love Too that. What? Too bright. Too bright. Um, <laughs> but we're on the way to the doctor's. <laughs> <laughs> for takes, blood test. <laughs> she will like you've been celebrating your your birthday week. Right. Heidi and I are all ready, aren't we? Yeah, we are. She has just had a bottle, so I'm waiting for her to vomit all over me. I have just put on some pink as we goes. Um it's not really I feel like quite dressy, but then it is only a Friday and I pop my trainers on to kind of make up for that. Heidi, let's see your dress. So this is from Kirsty and Finlay. It honestly is like an Italian tablecloth. And we're going for an Italian, aren't we? <laughs> aren't we, Heidi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, so yeah, she's beautifully dressed. I was just with my dad, as you'll have seen in like the last clip and he was like oh she's dressed so beautifully and I was like oh 
Um, so yeah, will we go out and celebrate Granddad's birthday? <laughs> we'll catch you at lunch because getting her in the car and getting my family at the bottom of the street all sorted will be a task. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, my starters arrived. I went for Shetta. Oh, you got mosquitoes. Ham? Try that in an Italian accent. Mosquito. <laughs> that looks nice. I'm to see it. No, no. And you've got arancini. Lovely. You just well eaten last chance. Toblerone's a classic for that. Is it Yes. This is the biscuit. Starters good. Really good. Really good. Glad I've tried something now. Yeah, but I was adventurous. Went out in Chini, but we'll be going back to Bruschetta. Just because I just bog started and catch more on. But you like the arancini? I went arancini as I often do, and I'll continue to go arancini moving forward. I do like prosciutto every now and again, but... Prosciutto is delicious. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. That's definitely not what I said. Certainly not how it came across oh, the camera. Oh, I was camera, telling the camera earlier how you criticise my parenting, but now it's the name thing. I don't even pronounce Heidi's name. Heidi. Yeah, so what do I say? Heidi. And what do you say? Heidi. <laughs> Heidi. I say Heidi. No, you do it. You say Heidi. 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 I say hi Heidi, and Mum says no, it's Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've got lasagna. Yeah. We've got chips. We've got barbecue chicken. That's added some chili, and you've got same as mine. Yeah. Dad's already tucking in, and you're still waiting for yours. It's the second order. It's been wrong today, isn't it? Oh, and pizza's roasting. Mummy brought the camera out again. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> right, well, lunch was good, wasn't it? It was very nice, enjoyed it. We're just waiting for tiramisu. We're quite the tiramisu connoisseurs, aren't we? Yeah. So, we're having tiramisu and a cappuccino and a latte. Yeah. Mum's having an Americano. How was your dinner? It was lovely. Yeah. And how much was a three course meal? 14 50. Was it 14 50 or 14 It's brilliant. It is packed in here. No, that includes tax and so. Just tax. Yeah, it's a American Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, great. And um, we'll let you know how the tiramisu is. Happy to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything to cut up with or some extra plates? Yes. No, I'm okay. Yeah. 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 Charlie. Brian's had to strip his clothes off. You know, you know what she's like. <laughs> so this is from Aldi. What's his name? Cuthbert. 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 It sounds like you're saying it with a list. What's his name? Cuthbert. Teach. It's not Cuthbert, it's Cuthbert. Oh, it just sounds like you have a list though. Um, we've got cappuccino, we did have a latte. You're not very good at this waiting for the vlog thing, are you? <laughs> um, tiramisu. Oh, he's not started that yet. Lou's got twice. I know. Lou's Lou's had double that in his. Like, go on then. Okay. 
We know they do it good here though, because we've had it loads of times before. That's good. So, just whilst we're eating cake, we were at Marquis the other day and Dad had that Victoria sponge and I had a chocolate cake and then I posted on my Instagram story saying, Victoria sponge is so boring, like why would people even order that? And that sparked up some controversy on my Instagram and people that like Victoria sponge like love Victoria sponge. The best cake ever. Best cake ever. You you would you wouldn't have minded if mum turned out with a Victoria sponge and put a candle in it. That's not cake, that is like it's just a bit like too it's like a scone. It's got like jam and cream, it's like what do you like Victoria? Oh, it's, okay. oh, it's just a vanilla sponge. It's a boring, it's boring. <laughs> You'd eat it. Would you choose chocolate cake over Victoria sponge? <laughs> We're just talking about that time mum went and got brownie dummies and bottles. Mum was trying to buy six bottles for Charlie and the lady was like, in the shop, some other customer, do you have six babies? <laughs> Mum was like, <laughs> no, I've got one. <laughs> one baby, but I need six bottles. And then, <laughs> six kids, because you're trying to buy six bottles. She was like, what? Because she said, how many are you looking for? And you said, oh, I'm looking for six bottles. And she was like, what, have you got six kids? <laughs> You need six though, don't you? <laughs> the bill has arrived. I have guessed 93 pounds. Dad guessed 100 pounds. And it is 109 pounds for how many adults? Five. Five people to have a three course meal, really. With drinks. Well, With drinks, time. coffees, yeah, no alcohol, coffees. side salads, and chips. Yeah. That's well good. And it was the food was amazing. Service has been good. Great. This is a favourite of mine. Like it. Out of ten. Nine. 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 What? Fat mom can sit and have her lunch and 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 it is half past two and we are home that was so nice really loved that but always do to be honest and that is like a choice of place that i would go like with my friends me and lewis often choose it for like date night as well it's just like great value for money we really like the service it's just like it's just so cute and authentic in there rusticos um so yeah and heidi is well she fell asleep in the restaurant and then i had to wake her up to get her into the car and then she woke up when we got home, but I've just put her down in her bed and she's gone back to sleep. Fingers crossed for now. Because it's this awkward time of the day, like I hope that she would nap like 9 a.m., 12, and then 3. Um, but it's half two now, you know, it's a bit awkward. So when she wakes up from this nap, I'm hoping she's not gonna nap anytime later. But I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> Oh, with my feet up and um, watching Love Island. More stuff selling on my vintage, so I'm absolutely buzzing about that. But yeah, this is my situation. Feet up, Yoda socks on, and I'm going to watch some Love, Love Island on there. Speaking of on there, I have contacted a joiner. I'm hoping to get a media wall. And I know a lot of people spend loads of money on media walls. And at the end of the day, it's just a wall that your TV goes on. They do look beautiful. And this is our forever home. So I'm, I would love to do that. But they just cost crazy amounts of money. So I've got a few ideas in my mind. I've contacted a joiner and he's going to come round and see me. Hopefully in a few weeks. Um, to try and make a plan of what to do with this wall. I have big plans for my living room. I have big plans because I want to do something big in here but I don't know what it is I want to do yet because this is like your living room 
it's like the heart of your home and also we spend so much time in here like in the evenings and stuff and we moved into de in December last year and like in like all the way up until like April it was freezing in here I want to make this a really cozy child free space and to make it child free I want to put carpet in here to make it really cozy because I want my living room done before Christmas. I'm just rambling now. I want my living room done before Christmas. Like for Christmas really. So I want the media wall up there. I have got my curtains to match the green sofa from the flat, but the windows in the flat, I don't know if you've been following us for this long, but the windows were ginormous. So I think I either need to buy new curtains or make my curtains shorter. It won't be a Wonderweb job, that's the problem. I'm Wonderweb three and three. Anyway, and then I'd love to put carpet in here and imagine like the media wall carpet. I want to paint the room like, I don't want it white, but I want it like, it's not white at all, but you know that Egyptian cotton color? I think my mum has it in her living room. I really want that, like an off white, but not like a bright pure white. And then, yeah. I want light carpet as well, like a really light, creamy, really, and I just know that having a little baby is just, I don't know, take that risk. Anyway, guess where I've been? The post office to send another vintage parcel. We've just gone for a big long walk. It was like two and a half kilometers. What time is it now? 20 to 7. I am a little bit hungry. I did start my period today. So I think that's why I've had a three courser plus cake, coffee, and now I'm ready for my tea. Did you enjoy the walk, Pops? Did you start? Did you enjoy the walk? Yeah, you were an angel today. Oh, yeah, earlier she slept for like two hours. So it was crazy. Anyway, you guessed it. Tonight for tea is HelloFresh. We speak about them quite a lot on the channel. It is not an ad, but we're just loving it. What's tonight? Sweet and sticky beef noodles with monch too and pak choy. Takes 20 minutes. Nice. Yeah, buzzing about that. That's what we need, a quick easy meal. That is what we're needing. Heidi will be back and ready in 20 minutes. Um, here. We were staying at lunch, his name really is Cuthbert from um, Aldi, I think. Amazing, so, so good. So we'll have that tonight. And I started, because the house has been so cold, like it's actually been winter in July, I've been having a hot coffee at bedtime, but decaf, it's been amazing. Um, so I'm at some cake and decaf coffee before bed tonight whilst we watch some TV, but I'm just gonna make up dinner. And I'll show you when it's ready. And Daddy's gonna beat you to bed, darling. Bath in bed. <laughs> right, dinner is ready. I've just added some chili flakes because there wasn't like it didn't come with it. But yeah, it looks and smells amazing. I'm just gonna have it with a Fanta lemon from Aldi, a little fake one. I think it was six or eight. I think actually maybe eight. Six or eight cans for one ninety nine, which is amazing. We're probably gonna go and stick on a Florida vlog. <laughs> Cause that's what we do at the moment. It's 10 to nine. Just a way to go to bed and maybe watch some Love Island. But first, oh, how good was dinner, Lee? Lovely. It was so nice. Really enjoyed it. I wanna show you what we bought on Amazon Prime Day. I don't even know these things exist and then Lewis sent me a list of everything he, he has on this list for Florida for taking Heidi. So we did an order. And also I went out on Wednesday night to Wag Mama's with my friend Karis. And I came back and I said to Lewis, what, what have you been up to? He's like, I've been watching YouTube videos on how to pack to take your baby to Disney. <laughs> my way to the evening. Such a dad. This might help some of you and some of you might be thinking what on earth but where have we been keeping all of this just now? We have got an inflatable for the swimming pool and it looks like this. 
So it's got a little hood on it. Heidi will sit in there, but it's pink. Also, can anyone help me in the comments below? Um, Heidi, I think we would both benefit, me and Heidi, if I was able to take her to a council swimming pool, like a local swimming pool in a float. But I don't know if you can take your own float to council pools. So if you could let me know in the comments. <laughs> Next up, we've got these ba baby ear defenders, which we're hoping to use on the plane and at the fireworks. I think that would be good. Yeah. And then we've got this like adjustable band that I presume will slot in there. But when I cover my ears like this, I can barely hear a thing. What? <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. What else? Oh, Lou's got some cooling towels. Oh, we got Heidi a poncho. Oh, it's okay. It's for, it'll be fine, will it? Yeah. No um, matter how baggy it is, as long as she can actually get through it. It's got little lions, flamingos, giraffe. Oh, it is It is actually quite big. It has got a hood. But I just think for her coming out the pool and to keep her cosy, I quite like that, you know. Like, what is that for? Big. They're like straps for toys to stay on oh, the stroller. Right. Yeah, to attach her toys to the stroller so we don't lose them. So, this like is, it, so she doesn't throw anything so on the she floor. So if they, she throws it, we'll get it back. Yeah. Um, these are for putting around her pram. They're hideous. Her, tro her stroller, mm -hmm. um, so we can identify it. All it needs to be is something to identify our stroller. It doesn't matter if it's nicer or not. We've got a fan oh, yeah. that is going to attach to her stroller. Her stroller. Self-explanatory. Yep. USB plug, another thing we're going to need to charge when we're over there. Right. We have got um, a power bank, phone charger. There's a lot in that box. Uh, There's quite a lot. Yeah. Well, it was like eight items or something, and Lewis was like, how does this all fit in this little box? And what is in here? Ponchos. A box of ponchos. Oh, yeah, tell them. Oh. Um, so, we said we didn't use ponchos last time, so we didn't need to get them. Um, we heard on a vlog last night that it's $20 for a poncho in the park. That was six for like, what, eight quid? Um, so I've offered Rhiannon fifteen dollars for a poncho if it rains, because <laughs> um, that's six ponchos for me. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm actually having such a phone saga at the moment, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get a new phone before I go to Florida in September, so it's kind of depending. I think I'm gonna hang around for the new iPhone sixteen to come out, so I can buy the iPhone fifteen. Pardon me, Pro Max, so I wonder, I'm i hoping it'll be cheaper. But basically, I want like the biggest and bestest phone with the most storage so I can really make a good job of the next Florida series and like it'll just make editing and stuff so much easier because I do all on my phone. However, I phoned up Vodafone, who I would never recommend you go with. Personally, I've not enjoyed their company for like the last 20 years. However, and because my sim only is £30 a month. Whose sim only is £30 a month? I have been mugged off. It's been the bane of my life really, hasn't it? Yeah, and me. And Lewis's. Anyway, I am going to just close off this video. This was just going to be a little something something. And here it is. I just like pottering about at the moment. Not really up to too much. Obviously just home from Dubai. We're going to the caravan this weekend. I probably said that in this video already. And on Monday we are going to Blair Drummond with the whole family. Minus Cam and Lore. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm going to pick up my camera for that. I'm just hoping it's not a rainy day. That's going to be that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please let me know if I can take a float to a council pool. I would appreciate that so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.